Hello all. Hope all of you are enjoying the tricks of Vedic mathematics. So in our this episode, we came up with some new tricks. Let's start with today's tricks for Vedic mathematics. Uh, we are going to learn this subtraction of mixed fractions. All of you know fractions. Fraction means 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 2 by 8. These are all called as fractions. Let's take an example. Suppose we need to subtract 5. From 5 we need to subtract 3 into 3 by 4. Okay. So generally what we are doing, we will multiply 4 into 3, 12, then we will add, then we will subtract. It's a very long process. So today I am going to tell you a very easy technique by which you can solve this kind of problems very easily. Okay. So let me try. So the question is 5 minus 3 by 4. Okay, so we will just simplify this question. We can write like this for this 5, we can write like this 4, 4 by 4. Okay, this 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 4 plus 1 is 5. If you will do like this also, 4 into 4, 16 plus 4, 20, 20 divided by 4, that is 5, and minus. this okay why we took here 4 by 4 because in this case denominator is 4 so whatever the denominator in the second case same denominator we will take here and we the numerator will be same so it is like this we have completed like this okay so finally what we can do is we can subtract from 4 3 4 minus 3 is 1 and because here denominators are same here also 4 minus 3 is 1 and the denominator is 4 so it is we got the answer here let's try one more example in this 4 minus so this is also a same kind of question so here we will try to divide the number like this so it will be 3 and because here denominator is 3 so it is 3 by 3 and minus this one okay because here the denominator is 3 so simply we are also putting like this 3 by 3 so 3 plus 1 that will be 4 minus this one so here also we can do the same trick so we will subtract 3 minus 1 that is 2 and from this 3 minus 1 that is 2. So answer we are getting this one. Let's do one more example. So you can understand 99 minus 92 3 by 7. Okay. So if in a general process it looks a very big problem but through this technique we can do the same so we will less one that is 90 white here and because the denominator here is 7 so we will do 7 divided by 7 7 by 7 minus 92 to 3 by 7 okay so simple trick we will subtract 98 minus 92 so that is 6 and here 7 minus 3 that is 4 divided by 7 Hope all of you understand this particular trick. This is a very easy trick to solve this kind of sum. Let's do one more example. 237 minus 205 to 5 by 11. I'm giving you some time to solve this. Okay, let's solve this. So we will do it 236 to 11 by 11. Okay, 11 by 11 is 1 and 236 plus 1 is 237 minus 205 and 5 by 11. So here you can see 236 minus 205 that is 31 and 11 minus 5 that is 6. So 31 by 6 by 11. So in this trick we can 
solve the subtraction of mixed fractions. Let's learn our next trick which is square of numbers nearer to a base number. A base number means 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh. So these are 100, 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh. These are the base numbers. So if we need to find the square of any numbers which are very nearer to the base number. Let's take an example. Suppose it is 100. So the nearest numbers are 99, 98, 97, 95, 92 like this. These are called as below base nearer numbers and we have some numbers like 101, 104, 108, 109. These are above base numbers. So now we will try to find out the squares of these numbers with very easy tricks okay so let's start let's try suppose we are doing we are finding the square of 98 what do you mean by square square means a square a square means a number multiplied by itself gives the square a square means a multiplied by a so here 98 square means it is 98 multiplied by 98 so i will just explain you so later on we can do in shortcut process okay now this 98 is how much less than the base for the 98 the base is 100 and 98 is two less than the base so it is also two less and it is also two less so it is minus 0 2 and minus 0 2 we will write like this and we will do in two steps first step we will do we will multiply this minus 0 2 with minus 0 2 this will call come as 0 4 this will come as 0 4 why we have put this zeros because here the base is 100 and in 100 there are two zeros are there so in right hand side we should write two numbers so one number we got two the second number is zero so we put zero two and zero two and in answer part also we will get two digit answer because one four we got so we put one extra zero that is zero four so first step we did zero two into zero two that is zero four in the second step what we will do we will cross subtraction do cross subtraction either up from down or down from up so 98 minus 0 2 or 98 minus 0 2 that is 96 so we got the answer 9604 this is the basic of this trick i will tell you how to do this 98 square so you see here 90 is 8 is 2 less than 100 so what you need to do how much less 2 less so 2 into 2 you just need to put here 0 4 okay how much less we got 2 less than base so you need that number 2 you need to multiply 2 times you need to find the square of 2 2 square is 0 4 I told you why 0 4 because it comes in double digit answer in the second step what we will do from this 98 you will subtract this 2 so 98 minus 2 that is 96 hope you understand this question let's take another example suppose it is 95 square okay so 95 is how much less than 100 this is 5 right so first we will do the square of 5 5 square is 25 we have written two digit answer here then in the second step we will subtract 5 from 95 95 minus 5 that is 90 we got the, this answer let's do another example suppose it is 92 square so 92 is how much less than 100 it is 8 less than 100 so 92 so 8 less so first we will find the square of 8 8 square is 64 then in the second step we will subtract 8 from 92 92 minus 8 is 84 so the answer is 8464 
hope you understand this concept let's do some more examples suppose we are finding 103 square okay so 103 is more than 100 how much more than 100 plus 3 right so in the first step what we will do this 3 square we will find the square of 3 3 square is 0 9 if answer will come in single digit then we will make it double digit because here the base is 100 and in 100 there are two zeros so in the first part of answer there will be two digits so it is 0 9 in the second case same in 98 97 because they are less we are subtracting this digit because 103 is more than 100 we will add so 103 plus 3 that is 106 let's take another example 107 square so that is it is how much more than 100 7 more than 100 so first we will find the square of 7 that is 49 7 square is 49 then in the second step we will add this 107 with this excess 7 107 plus 7 that is 114 let's take one more example suppose it is 109 square so excess is 9 so first step we will do 9 square that is 81 because this is 9 more than 100 now in the second step we will do 109 plus 9 that is 118 so answer is 11881 now till now i have told you the tricks nearer to 100 where 100 is the base let's go to the next uh, base suppose the base is 1000 okay so if base is 1000 how many zeros are there three zeros are there you need to keep in mind that how many zeros are there in the base let's take an example suppose we are finding the square of 996 okay so 996 the base is 1000 so 996 is lower than 1000 it is smaller than 1000 so how much smaller than 1000 9000 minus 996 it is minus 4 so what we will do first step same process we will find the square of 4 4 into 4 that is 16 okay but should we write here 16 no we should write here how many zeros are there in the base three zeros are there so what we will do here also we need to write three digit answer but here we got two digit answer so we will place one zero extra here so the first part of answer is 016 in the second part of answer what we will do we will subtract 4 from 996 so 996 minus 4 is 992 so this is the final answer let's do one more example suppose it is 991 square okay 991 is how much less than 1000 it is minus 9 so first step we will find the answer that is 9 nines are 81 so we will write here 0 8 1 because in base there are three zeros so we need three digit answer on the right side part so first answer we got 0 8 1 in the second part always you need to subtract 991 minus 9 that is 982 so 982 0 8 1 for your understanding i am doing it again suppose 991 into 991 okay so 991 is how much less than 1000 that is minus 009 here also it is minus 009 so in the first part we will multiply these two digits 99 is 81 so we will write 081 and we will do cross subtraction this is the basic of this trick 991 minus 9 or 991 minus 9 that is 982 hope so you understand this trick let's go to the upper base here we took the base is 1000 so let's take the square of 1003 1003 square okay so 1003 is how much more than 1000 
3 more than 1000. So we will find the square of 3. 3 square is 9. Okay. But as I told you, so 1003 is 3 more than 1000 the base. In base 3 zeros are there. So in the first step what we will do, we will add, we will do the square of 3. The square of 3 is 9. But we cannot write 9 here only because in the base there are 3 zeros are there. So in the right hand side part of answer we need 3 digit as answer. So we got 1 digit so we need to place 2 more zeros. So this is the first part of answer. Now in the second part of answer we always do 1003 plus 3. So that is 1006. Let's do one more example for you. So it is, it is 1008 square. So definitely 1008 is how much more than 1000 that is plus 8. So we will do 8 square that is 64 but we need 3 digit answer. So we will place 10 so that is now 3 digit answer. So we got the first part of answer in the second part of answer what we will do we will add 1008 with this extra 8. So 1008 plus 8 that is 1016. So like this we can find the squares of the nearest number. So I hope in this 10 episodes you must learn some new tricks and you have done the practice for these tricks. Definitely these tricks will help you to get good marks in your academics and in future also to appear for competitive exams. These tricks will save your time and you can complete all the questions in proper time. There are huge number of tricks in Vedic mathematics as we cannot cover all the tricks in uh, these episodes. So you can research, you can do, you can try a lot of tricks and you can enjoy this basic mathematics. Thank you. All of you.